what is going on youtube i got another video for you guys today in this video i'm gonna be showing you one of my top methods in order to sustain my bonds on runescape we will be buying items from the npcs and then selling those items on the grand exchange womp, 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 womp subscribe i also quickly just wanted to say that i have been listening to you guys i know a lot of you guys wanted to see flipping videos so as you can see here i've pre-recorded a little bit of flipping content if we can get this video to 150 likes i'll release that video before the end of the weekend all right guys so the two items that we're going to be focusing on today is raw bear meat and sharks so what we're gonna do here real quick is we're going to buy a shark at max price and then sell that shark at lowest price and then we're gonna go ahead and do the same for the bear meat and then after that we're gonna look in our history so we can see the profit margins roughly of these items because of this price check we now know that we can sell sharks in between 843 and 853 coins and we can sell raw bear meat between 277 and 251 gold okay so now that we know our prices we're gonna head our way over to cannabis I'm just going to explain three different ways to do this. If you already know how to get to Canifus, you can skip to the next part in the chapter section in the description. The first way shown on screen is to just simply teleport there from your house. So what you're going to want to do is get a house TP, direct the portal over to Kirill, and then you're there. For the second way, for those of you that are unfamiliar with the GE, you can actually just buy a teleport and then you can teleport there. Finally, for the people that don't have any of those other other methods or requirements you're gonna follow your way on my mouse here make your way over to this temple and then there's an underground passageway you're gonna want to go through I believe there's a quest you have to complete so you're gonna have to complete it and then make your way over to uh, Karel here alright guys so now that we've made our way to the store Rufus meets Aporium we can go ahead and price check our items and I'm gonna go ahead and throw it on the screen now we will be buying raw bear meat at one coin yeah that's one coin and then selling that raw bear meat for a total of 276 coins so we're making 275 coins on every raw bear meat and for the sharks we're gonna be buying them at 221 coins and we're gonna be selling those sharks for 852 for a total of 600 and something gold all right guys so I was holding off on this for a little bit because I wanted to get fully monetized first but I'm gonna show you guys this anyways this is for menu item swapper so it makes it so that you can just left click everything and you can shift click to trade so what you're gonna want to do here is you're gonna want to hit the wrench you're gonna want to type in menu entry swapper you're going to click on it and then click configure. Then you're going to go ahead to UI swaps. You're going to change this to buy 50 here it's on the screen. And once that's done, you can go ahead and close this off. So what this does is it makes it so your left click is actually the trader. So you can trade, right? So for the left click, you can just trade. And then when you hold shift, you're buying 50 at a time. So you're losing that right clicks. You only have to use your left click and that's gonna make your process so much faster. You're also gonna wanna take advantage of the world hopper. So what you're going to do is click that right click arrow by the camera towards the top right of the screen. And you're gonna wanna keep this interface up and you're gonna double click the uh, world you wanna switch to after you're finished trading make sure that when you're doing this you're outside of the trader so like you've you've finished buying and you've closed the screen off so that you can hop to the next world all right guys so the only thing left to do as always is to test this method so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put a time lapse of me doing this super fast in 10 minutes and what we're going to do is we're going to multiply what we get in 10 minutes for 60 minutes so we can get our gold per hour one final note for this method is sometimes this rufus guy can wander around so he will be outside the shop so make sure you're just keeping an extra eye on him what i like to do is make sure i'm looking for the guy in white clothes so i can get as much items as possible efficiently while this funny time lapse is going on i want you guys to comment in the comments how much gold you think we will make per hour and for one of you lucky guys i'm gonna be giving away two mil 
Okay, guys, we've come to the end of our 10 minutes, and we're going to go to the bank and see what we've got. So we have got 255 raw bear meat, and we've got 27 raw sharks. So we're going to head now to the Grand Exchange to sell this, and we're going to go do some math to see how much money we make per hour. When I actually got to the bank, I got a nice surprise. The sharks were able to sell out at the same price that uh, we did before the testing. However, the bear meat actually rose to 307 GP. So what I did was I put my offers and waited for them to sell. Alright guys, it didn't take too long here. Everything sold in a couple of minutes. Uh, so what we're going to do is break down our costs and get that gold per hour. Okay, so let's start with the cost of the products. So the sharks costed 220 28 gold and we got 28 of them which equals 6.160 gp the bear meat cost 1 gp and we got 256 of them so we it cost 256 gp this means that our total cost for this method was 6416 gp now our profit shown on screen here is going to be the 23.4 and the 77k number so we're going to add those both together to get 94.388 gp and then we're going to multiply that number by 6 to get a total of 566.8k per hour. Bye bye, says the guy.